hi guys how's it going welcome back to my youtube channel i just want to apologize a i got red in the face i just got back from a little dog walk and b i'm trying to hide it my dog my dog slobbered on me like literally all over me like my mum would say you look like you've just been dragged for a hedge backwards pretty appropriate in the circumstances i won't lie on the topic of like van life families there's a difference i think between van life families i.e people who choose to live in their vans their rvs and then also family vlogger van kids you know what i mean um i do think there's a difference and my interpretation of it is whether or not you agree with the fact that you can fit like i don't know how many kids some of these people have like six kids living in like a camper for instance but they're not vlogging it's just how they choose to live their lives they homeschool their kids they're traveling about there's a whole argument with just that <laughs> girl them kids and almost on the same side of the coin just on the other split side of it you have the same kind of families but there's a catch they also earn their living off of doing social media filming their kids there's quite a few of them now isn't there the the, the ones which really spring to my mind are family of nomads and i've covered them a couple of times they're also immensely popular over on tiktok plethora of other ones as well like red white bethune bethune those people so i have been heavily invested in looking into this whole van life family situation particularly the family vloggers because the family vloggers I cover them on my channel. I like talking about family vloggers and mummy vloggers. I think the concept behind living in extremely close quarters with your family, but also being filmed and not having a lot of privacy is just the worst. Do you know what I mean? I feel like that really is the worst side of family vlogging. It's as close up and as sort of contained as, as you could possibly get it if you're wanting to vlog your family. Do you see what I mean? It's not like you've got a great big house, your kids are out of school during the day, they're not going to be on camera all the time but if you have some kids that live in extremely closed off quarters with their parents are filmed all the time are used for ads used for sponsorship deals and can't really get away from it because their siblings are their life their van is their life their rv is their life and they're homeschooled as well so they're basically just contained within the family unit all the time i think that that's such a like I don't know it, it intrigues me and it irritates me at the same time whether or not you agree or disagree with people like living in a van living wherever i feel like you can live in close quarters with your family depending on how close quarters i saw this video recently of this mum and i'll play it to you right here so the kids bunk beds do look a little bit smaller from the outside because we had to put railings on them because our kids are little toddlers and they will roll out of bed if not so the opening is smaller so that they don't fall out of bed, but then inside it's tall enough for them to sit up in if they want to sit in there and look at books or play with some toys before bed. Um, and it's bigger than like a crib mattress. I'm basically saying, yeah, and this is where my three toddlers sleep. And like the bottom one, I was like, there is no way. And it was like right next to the kitchen. I then also did learn that this is just their camper and that they don't live here full time. However, most of their content revolves around traveling and things so it's like how often are you camping it's all well and good saying like oh well it's, it's only our camper van we don't we don't live in it all the time it's like yeah but how often are you living on it i don't know whatever i just know the internet is blowing up over these kind of things ended up doing triple bunks for the boys which i'm so glad we did they're super awesome. i told myself i wasn't gonna make any more rv videos but are you kidding me? They're making it so hard. Those kids are sleeping in literal coffins. The whole topic of this conversation is going to be this Reddit post. Now, as I was looking at van life families, there was this one uh, TikTok that I saw of this creator basically reading out uh this reddit post that was written last year now i went i typed it into google and it's called i'm a teen in a full-time rv living vlogging family and i can't effing stand it now i i was desperate to read the actual thing it has actually been removed it just got so much attention and maybe it freaked whoever it was out it really did it boomed off on tiktok it boomed off of reddit it has since been deleted now i'm gonna read it out to you um i will leave the tiktok in which i basically had to get all of these shots like screenshots from because this is the only way of me being able to read it funny thing is and i'm not saying that this bears any relation because of course if someone comes on anonymously on reddit 
and says all this different stuff, people are going to be like, oh my gosh, it's so and so, it's so and so. Like, I've read a couple of these out before. And yeah, they could be fake, but at the same time, why would you even bother? And also, if it was fake, why did the person delete it? They obviously felt like it was just going to get too big and they didn't really want a part of it anymore. That's just my own interpretation. That's just what I think, but whoever, whatever. And some people are going as far to say that it is one of the kids from Family of Nomad. Now, I'm not saying this is the case, but basically... On the, on the TikTok comments of this creator who I got the stills from, every, literally every single person's like, oh, it's definitely this person, definitely this person. And whether it is or whether it's not, it's a really, truly quite interesting read. And I do want to give, like, just read it out to you guys because I have suspected that this whole van life thing and also vlogging, like family vlogging at the same time, must be such a severe lack of privacy it's not even funny i just feel like it's it's taking both and just making it into this great big extreme i think it's family vlogging to the absolute extreme it's just keeping them close to you at all times no privacy whatever you can't have that much privacy in some of the even the big rvs that we've seen such as family of nomads they have a great big rv you know realistically you're not going to have that much privacy like even the eldest kid had like this tiny tiny little space like not much privacy whoever whatever we're gonna give them a little read i'm going to leave out any identifying information as i am a minor so bear with me i hate it i hate it so much i hate being homeschooled i hate not being able to maintain a social life i have online friends but it's not exchangeable for a true social life i'm just gonna interject it it's quite interesting because a lot of these family vlogger van life people often make tiktoks and things being like hey guys look our kids can have a social life they can play with the other kids who are full-time travelers or at the same camping grounds as us so that's quite interesting. My husband, myself, and our kids all have incredible long-lasting friendships, even while traveling. We get to travel the country with all of our best friends. I hate having so little privacy. I hate having to pretend to be happy with this. I hate living in a sanctuary, not a home. We travel full time. I know, I know it sounds like a dream. I thought so too, but it's an effing nightmare. So this is interesting. So they're basically saying that they thought it would be a good thing at the very beginning. And now it sounds like it's a nightmare, probably because the parents sold them this dream of it not being what it actually is. And I'm not poo-pooing and discriminating people who actually want to travel full time and who want to do this and that. It's subjective. I wouldn't personally do it. A lot of people in my comment section say, ah, oh, well, you know, it's something that you do before you have children. I think that there are a lot of communities out there who do have children, who do go traveling. But like I've already said, I think the idea of trying to add family vlogging to it is amplifying the situation and making it so that you literally feel like you have no privacy because your life is online. It's hard to enjoy anything with a camera over your shoulder at times. Numerous times we stopped at places just for my mum to guess out and take her little videos and family photos and then right back in we go. Now I'm really trying hard not to like draw the parallels here, but I swear on my life like that Jessica from Family of Nomads does this all the time, but I'm really trying hard not to like because there's no certifiable evidence it's just that everyone is saying it on all of the comment sections and i'm just like trying not i'm trying not to i'm trying i'm trying so hard on the road to the next stop 90 percent of our time is spent in the actual rv which is living hell in its own right i just want a private normal life but no they had to ruin it with their crunchy way of parenting lugging us around i have siblings everywhere they please I don't think my parents care about my happiness. As long as I look the part and smile for the camera, they couldn't give less of an F how I feel they guilt trip. Say if I don't help with my siblings or help with the videos, that will go broke and it'll be my fault. It's all fake, by the way. Not what I meant when I said I wanted to take up acting. It's quite interesting. I feel like if anyone knows enough about any of these um, vloggers, you'd be able to put two and two together. But then again, like this person wants to remain anonymous. Anyway, I'm trying so hard not to do that. That's pretty sad. But at the end of the day, like the emphasis is on the fact that a lot of these sponsorships go after families who are full-time traveling. And a lot of these sponsorships, I've seen them. I've seen them dotted around. They're like homeschool on the go and like days out with your kids and they, they all get out and they take a picture wherever they are wherever they've traveled to and be like hey road stop at such and such and this is like how they make a lot of money and in a way like if you didn't have kids that's kind of genius because you could literally do sponsorships and promote things 
just anywhere where you know you can just get in and go out like without kids it's kind of genius in a way do you know what i mean because you're not just limited to where you are you can do sponsorships in so many different things if you have kids you'll then open up to this whole new market where it's like oh the family's got to be included which is, I think, what they're referring to. I'm frustrated all the time. I'm tired all the time. I'm bored all the time. Please stop supporting these channels. Stop buying into it. It's ruined my life and I can't say anything about it. The comments make me sick. I know it's inspiring a lot of families to consider the same. The more this blows up, the more lives get crushed like mine. I cannot plead with you enough. Don't tell me that that is not the sad, like, honestly, that's the end bit. It's just so sad. And, and it's true, like, this, this is the reason why I've suddenly become really interested in it. It isn't like, it isn't because I've just gone, oh, what can I talk about this week? It's because TikTok, even before I discovered, you know, before I started talking about van life, family channels, I had no idea they even really existed. And then all of a sudden TikTok was telling me and loads and loads of people are over there. This is how I found out all this kind of stuff is because it's blowing up. Like more and more people want to become like, Van life families and travel about because it's the it's the it, it's the new trendy thing and i think for someone who wants to be able to use their kids for content and for someone who wants to be able to have them at their fingertips and really be in control of that child's life that is like the perfect thing to do if you also enjoy traveling do you know what i mean like and i think it's wrong i do i do think it's wrong you want to go live in a family family and you want to go traveling and you have enough space go for it like i'm not here talking about that i'm, li I'm specifically talking about the people who choose to start a family channel and then sort of just contain them a little do you know i've already explained this i feel like i don't need to explain this again but it's ultra sad and people are drawing the draw people people are drawing the parallels people are like mm -mm -mm. but at the end of the day the original post has been taken down um uh, which is a shame because I really wanted to be able to read it but I'll link the original post in the description box and you can just go and read the comments because there's so many different comments people are commenting on it sharing their own thoughts and feelings sharing their own experiences so I do urge you guys to go over and give that a little read anyway it's basically all I really wanted to come on and say just because I felt like I really wanted to share it because I found it quite interesting but I hope you guys have a wonderful day wherever you are in this world take care of each other take care of yourselves and I'll catch up with you guys in the next video